Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. My name is Mario So. And today's video is part two of my editing breakdown of this Nerds commercial. So I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. It's nice to see you back here again. If you're new here, I create weekly content on filmmaking, photography, video editing tutorials, and gear review. So it would be greatly appreciated if you subscribe and hit that bell button. And if you already subscribed, thank you again for being here. If you haven't seen the first part of this video editing breakdown series, you can check out that video right here. And if you haven't seen the behind the scenes of how I shot this nurse commercial video, you can check it out right here. So last week we went over how I edited the first two scenes of that Nerds commercial video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I edited three of those scenes as I feel like some of the other ones are pretty straightforward. For this next scene, I made sure that I timed the music to the shots. And what I simply did was add markers in the video and the footage and have each different color nerd appear at that time. So here we have four clips. We have the one with the orange nerd. We have one with the yellow nerd, one with the purple nerd, and one with the pink nerd. I lined them up all here to start right in the middle. What I did was just uh, edit that to the beat and then the cuts will come in at those points in time. Pretty straightforward. For this next scene, I selected the section that I wanted to boomerang. So I know I want this clip to start right there where it seems like there's only one bottle or one jar. And up to there, or roughly there, I'll want the clip to reverse itself in a boomerang style kind of, kind of way. So in Premiere Pro, how you do it is uh, I want to first, wanted to first remap it do some time remapping. So right click on it, show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed, and that will change the, um, your clip so you can see the time remapping line. So I would like the speed ramp to start right about here. If you're in a Mac, you hold on command. If you're in a uh, Windows, you hold on control and you click right at that point. So from here, you drag the right side all the way to 1%. And you can adjust these ears that you see. At this point in time, I'm going to cut the footage. That's when it reaches the 1% in the speed remapping. And for this beginning piece, I'll increase the speed ramp. If you click and drag the line up, you can see that the speed changes. Now I have it about 423%. Think I want it a little bit quicker and I want the slowdown to happen a lot, er, a lot earlier. So for that, uh, you can drag the, the left ear of the speed ramp keyframe. You can tweak it to your liking. This is the first part of the boomerang effect. So now for the second part, what you need to do is right click on this clip, click on speed du and duration, and where it says time interpolation, you're going to select optical flow. And this is what will make that uh, boomerang effect a lot smoother. So click OK. You can duplicate the, this uh, clip by holding Option on your keyboard and dragging your clip to the side or holding Alt if you're in a Windows and dragging your clip to the side. So now you have this clip right here, the exact same cl clip next to it. And what you'll do is go and right click on it again, click on speed and duration and reverse speed. Right away you see that the clip has been reversed and you get this little V shape sort of thing between both clips and there you have it. This is the boomerang effect. So this works particularly well as well if you want to create your own boomerang in Premiere Pro. If you want to shoot on a camera that's way higher quality than your phone uh, and not have Instagram, create and compress your boomerang video, you can also do that manually. Moving on to the next scene. This scene was really fun to edit as well. This is the stop motion scene. 
where you see all the nerds coming in. So what I had for this scene was I imported all the raw images directly in After Effects and I had only 10 photos, believe it or not, for this stop motion sequence. So I took a photo of just one nerd, I went to the next photo and I moved the nerd a little bit to the right, added the next nerd on the third photo, I just kept pushing the nerds forward. So it will look like a line of nerds will come in. With all the photos imported in After Effects, I wanted each photo to come in at four frames. So what I, what I did is just nudge each photo a little bit, four frames. The third photo, I nudge another four frames, so on and so on, up until the 10th photo. So this is what it looks like. 10 photos, uh, simple stop motion animation. I brought in that stop motion composition into a new composition. In this case, I'll name it 167 stop tutorial, stop motion tutorial. I drag it in here and I have this one composition. And in the final video, you see that the stop motion composition is on a blue background. So what I did for that was also have a clean blue background was a flat lay shot of just the blue background on the table. That was my background layer. I added a, a color key to this stop motion pre, uh, composition. Clicked on the eyedropper tool, selected a color as close as possible to the nerds. Adjust the color tolerance just to key out most of the blue. Uh, adjust a little bit of the feather. And you can see that there, the blue has not been completely re removed from this. It's still up here in a corner. So what I can do uh, more, oh, there's a little bit more. Adjust a little bit of the etch thin, maybe three, just because there was a little bit of that blue in this purple nerd maybe about two uh, and so next what i did was also um, i added a mask over this composition a rectangle mask so having uh, the stop motion layer selected go up top to your tools and click on rectangle tool and just drag a small rectangle over your 10 nerds so from there i just duplicated this layer Control or Command C and Control V or Command V to paste. I had uh, duplicated five times and then just clicked on each individual layer and I just dragged it and positioned uh, different ones in different sections of that composition. And to some of them, I also added a rotation to rotate them and just to change it up a little bit. Once I play this back, you can see that it looks like the stop motion animation had a lot more than just 10 photographs. So what I did ne next was to make a composition out of these layers. So selecting all of them, right clicking and clicking on pre-compose. From there, I created a new composition. This, in this case called scene seven stop motion. And to this composition, I brought back the background layer, the blue layer that I had taken before. So what I did here was just add a rotation keyframe from zero to roughly 18. And when you play it back, you see this small rotation happening alongside with the stop motion. I, what I did next was duplicate this layer inside this composition. And what I did here was I staggered the beginning of this layer a little later. So I wanted, to, uh, so I nudged this a little bit, maybe to about one and a half uh, seconds. So you can see all of this happening now. For the last shot, what I did was find a high resolution Nerds logo. And all I did was animate for position, scale and opacity just to match that with the Nerds logo in the actual box. And at the end, I just added a Gaussian blur effect on the box. So as the Nerds logo came out and filled the middle of the screen and scaled up, the blur will take effect just blurring the box. 
So that is all guys. I hope you enjoy the second part of this editing breakdown of this Nerds commercial video that I created directly from my living room. If you haven't watched the previous videos, you can watch them all here. So let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do more of these editing tutorials and editing breakdown videos for you to see. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell on your way out. If you already subscribed, thanks again so much for watching. So that is all for today, guys. Until next time.